So at the tail end of the last video, we completed 40 defense. And so we can tick that task off. And as you can see, we now have no tasks available. So we can now roll a new chunk. So one of the changes I've made is I've unticked this Alcarid chunk. Um, I only had it ticked because I was walking through this little bit of gap here. And you and I both know that I can walk through there and this chunk's unlocked, but it's blocked off by desert. By un but by unticking it, it means I can unbacklog all the stuff like mine, Addy, or and whatever that's in that mine and nowhere else. So yeah, that's that change done. And now we're gonna pick some chunks and I've kind of got a vague working idea of what I wanna do. I want to get to Soul Wars, and but there's a few things I wanna tick off before we get there. Uh, so that we can do it in sort of the best way possible. Um, yeah, but I've got to have a think, so I'm going to come back once I've had a think. So this is all part of a master plan, which I'm sure will come kind of back later, but the first chunk we're going to unlock is the South Falador Farm. So what that's going to get us is not very much, but it will give us a herb patch for future use. And it should, I believe, let us complete, um, what's that one called? A poor sign of interest. Oh, no, maybe. Oh, yeah, it can. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, it's because I have the chunk up here. So, yeah, I can now do a poor sign of interest, I believe, and then get a Slayer Task from Spurrier. So, we'll just go and do that real quick. So, let's grab the chunk on unlock. I have Asgarnia, so I should be able to walk through here, I believe. There we go. First time in Asgarnia. Uh, and let's go complete this quest. So one of the nicest things about this quest is for me and my pleb gear, one of the rewards is 5,000 GP, which for me is actually really a lot. Because uh, not only do I not have fire sale, but I also don't have access to like, any good money makers. So yeah, that's going to be huge. I'll be honest, Sour Hog is thir level 37 and I am level 55, which sounds good, but it's basically all magic based. So I imagine actually with melee, I'm probably going to suck a bit. So I might have to go and buy some, get some more runes and stuff and mage this. But hopefully with unlimited food, this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's kind of hit me for a grand total of fuck all. Most of these like quest bosses now are always so much easier than you think they're going to be. I think this is the first time I'm using the Crystal of Memories, like, actually, for what it's supposed to be. I think that's the first time I've even clicked it, to be fair. Look at that, though. There we go. Come on, can I get that 5,000 coins? I need that 5,000 coins. Oh, that's so good. Right, and then I can also use this to teleport to Draenor. I swear, the teleports in, uh, in this game mode are just the best bit. Right, let's talk to Spria to get our Slayer XP. I'm, so I'm 25 at the minute. Got a whole load extra, level 31. And we got the task for completing it. And we did that. So I think getting a Slayer task will probably be a task as well. 48 Hill Giants. I don't think I've actually got access to that yet. So yeah, we just got a whole load more points as well, which is very nice. 32 until our next area. I can still unlock that new relic, but I've still not decided yet. So yeah, that'll come at some point. So after checking over the chunks twice, I definitely do not have access to any hill giants as of yet. So we can tick off these two tasks, not go and do any Slayer, and then unlock our next one. And our next one is going to be Port Sarim. So let's get that unlocked and calculate the tasks. What have we got waiting for us? We have 70 cooking and 50 fishing. So those shouldn't be too bad. Uh, there's a fishing store there, so I'll be able to actually get some feathers and, and, and actually fish some stuff properly. Uh, the cooking will probably be a bit worse, but I think now the bankers know it won't be too bad. And I've got produ production master as well, so I can I can just find a range and cook it indefinitely. So let's unlock the chunk. One of the other things that I can do here, I believe, is talk to Veos and hand in X marks the spot, which will probably be a task in of itself. Uh, there we go. Should get some GP or XP lamp or something for that. X mark spot, XP lamp, 200 GP, nice. Okay, so he could take me to Karend in future, but obviously we don't have access to that. 
Let's have a look what's in this shop, see if there's anything too useful. I doubt it. An Addy weapon, we've already got one of those. There's a rune store again, a jewellery store. That could be interesting, actually. What do they sell here? Nothing that's in stock. <laughs> that's so annoying. Okay, um, that's fine. Main thing is going to be the fishing store. That is kind of one of the main things that we're doing this for. What should I put the lamp in? Hmm. It's flat XP, isn't it? So I don't need to put it in anything high. I think I'll probably chuck it in. Well, her block is going to be easy. So it's tough, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's just stick it in her block anyway, I guess. It's probably one of our lowest skills and probably will be for a while. Uh, so that is level 20 her block. So have we got access to the charter boat people? No, we don't. Interesting. They're all the way over there. So that knocks out their tasks. We do now have the ability to roll for uh, the Void Knight outpost, though, which is interesting and may be worth doing at some point, even if it's not worth it right now. So let's boot up this fishing store, see how much everything costs. So the feathers cost two GP each. Very nice. Fly fishing rod. Similar. Let's grab one of those. Uh, we, yeah, we've got 27 fishing, so we can go straight to do some fly fishing. Let's just buy a thousand. A thousand should be comfortably enough, right? So we've got all that stuff. Let's head to Lumbridge now, where there are some salmon and trout spawns. So let's send it and see how good the XP is. The XP is nuts. I've just, sorry, that was just my video rendering. Uh, the XP is nuts. I've caught nine trout and I've gone up like three levels already. So this 50 fishing malarkey is probably going to take about 30 minutes, if not less, I think. So yeah, leagues is the best. And there is 50 fishing, quick as you like. Average XP per hour over that grind, massively AFK whilst editing a video, 195,000 per hour. So what I'm going to do is go to the Lumbridge range, which is one of the only ranges that I can think of right at this very second, and finish up the cooking and hope that we can get 70. So I don't need 70, I need 58 plus 12. Uh, to make 70, but I don't think we'll quite get that off this, but we'll probably get reasonably close. I mean, just look at the state of this. It's just so good. Hold on. Right, let's do that, do that, and then just, and boom. <laughs> That's nuts, that is, All right? And kaboom. <laughs> it's so fun doing that, honestly. Okay, so we didn't quite get to 58, but we got reasonably close. Uh, I think we're probably going to finish on, what, 56? So just going to have to go get a few more invents. Uh, yeah, that should go up to 68, yeah. So we just need to get a couple more levels to get that level 70, and then we'll be able to roll some more chunks again. Right, I'm hoping this should be enough fish. Hopefully it will. Let's uh, just get on with cooking. And here is the needed level coming in level 58 and therefore level 70 cooking. So with that, we have the 50 fishing that we need and the 70 cooking that we need to make the Admiral Pie. So we can tick those tasks off. Right, so let's tick those tasks off. Uh, 50 fishing done and 70 cooking done, which means that we can now pick our next chunk. And the one we're going to be picking is this fella over here, the north side of Brimhaven, which means we can get down to Shiloh Village if we want to. So we'll unlock that. Only challenge is 49 crafting, which are which we don't already have, but we have access to the charter ships here, so it will be very, very quick to get. Right, let's unlock the chunk on the minimap, and then we shall teleport straight over there. Let's go. So I think I can do it straight from in here, can I? I think, Karamja, teleport? Yes, there we go. Nice. So this is the big reason that we came here, which is these ships. So if I select that and set him to trade, I should be able to just buy 10 of these in each store. Is that right? 
Uh, so if I go, what do I need? I need buckets of sand. There we go, that's a task. And soda ash. Is that right? I think so. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, God, I, I just did, I did 1 to 87 at Charter Ships on my other account, and I am failing miserably at this. So we shall go like so. Note those up, and then I need to just have a set by X set to 9, don't I? Oh, that's not going to be a possible. Oh, I guess I can just alternate, can't I? So we'll do that and that. Or maybe I'll set this down to here. Is that not going to replenish? No, brilliant. Okay. Uh, whatever. We just need a small amount. Okay, that's a decent little amount. Now I just need to go to a furnace. I'm pretty sure there's one in Lumbridge. So we'll do a last recall. And I'm 99% sure this is going to be more than enough stuff to uh, get me the crafting level that I need. And I'm annoyed that I did that because now I'm going to have to go back and get a glass blowing pipe because I forgot one. Uh, nice one, me. So we only need to get up to level 49. So I imagine this stuff was going to be more than enough probably comfortably more than enough uh so i believe if i go like that and like that this will probably make them all in one go no nice okay and then what i can't make lantern lenses but i can make no i can make vials handy look at that that's so quick okay yeah that's gonna be stupidly quick Okay, we comfortably got the level, uh, like really comfortably. We are at 43 going up. I'm just going to keep going till I use up all this stuff because why not? It's so incredibly easy. The Banker's Note makes this really nice. The Production Master also makes this really nice. Uh, just really a, quite, a, quite a fun training method, really. Uh, see, look at that. Nice. Nice, 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 and go again. Look how good that XP is. I mean, the XP on this per hour is mental. And there is actual level 50, uh, but that means level 62 for us. So we have really flown through these levels incredibly quickly. I imagine 99 would be very, very quick indeed. Oh my god, this is like GP generation as well, because I did not spend that much on the lantern lenses themselves. That's massive. Okay, so I can now get repeatable money very, very quickly, which is pretty cool indeed. Right, but we can now roll the next chunk, and I need to have a look at what I'm going to choose. So let's tick off the task, which is there. That is all of them done, and now we're going to pick some chunks. So I can use the Hadgety guy here to teleport down to Shiloh Village via his little cart thing. And I believe that's going to be no skill tasks at all. It is not, but it's a pretty cool place to have unlocked, which is very nice. And I'm going to unlock this fella, I believe. Assuming that gives nothing. Nice. And I'm going to unlock this fella, uh, which I believe is also nothing. Nice. So the next thing I'm going to unlock is via the minigame teleport I can teleport straight to Star Wars and I think this is worth doing because the loot is fucking mental um, and it's going to bring up some pretty high skilling challenges cooking 60 defense 66 magic 70 prayer 61 range 85 smithing being the main one uh, but I think the loot from Soul Wars is going to make all this stuff worth it. So what I need to do is hop into a Soul Wars world, head over here, and uh, yeah, just get stuck in, really. So here we are, and we are in the grey, so I need to unlock the chunk, and then I just need to go to one of the worlds, which is for Soul Wars. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Because they all just say leagues. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably the busy ones. Hang on. So before we head in as well, I'm also going to be picking a new relic. And I've read the comments, and I think what I'm going to pick... Oh, I speak to fucking Nomad. Piss off. Oh, it's starting in a minute's time. Hopefully there's more than one running. So this isn't going to be as overpowered for me as it is for most people, because I think I'm only getting three times points if I, if I 
get have that right. Uh, but what I am going to do is pick one of these. So loads and loads and loads and loads of people have picked Superior Sorcerer, and I don't really have too much interest in just spamming Ancients and being overpowered and using a uh, Shadow. Because what I want to be doing is soloing Nex and soloing TOA. Obviously the staff will be very, very good for TOA, but what I prefer at TOA, and because I did it on my Iron Man for so long, is actually melee. So a two tick fang is just going to be fucking nuts everywhere, especially TOA and Nex. So I'm going to pick that. And then also just some of the other melee weapons you can get are pretty cool as well. You know, the god swords are pretty awesome, two tick. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it could be a cool choice for us. So I'm going to pick that. Passive effect is... Okay, three times more common. Okay, cool. Right, let's uh, let's get that unlocked. So we should be able to hit things two tick with our sword now, which will be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's the best thing for me to do at this point, because I'm pretty weak. <laughs> I don't have much gear at all. I can't kill any other players. Uh, I best thing I can think to try and do is kill some of the tortured souls, but that, or oh, forgotten souls, but that kind of requires me to actually be able to, uh, survive. Although it doesn't look like people are staying here too long, so I might just sit here, see how much defense XP I can get. I need to get 60 defense in this chunk, so I may as well try and get as much of that as I can passively from, uh, killing these fellas. Because I don't think I'll get XP if I attack players, so I think this is probably the best bet. Okay, there's level 46 ones over here, so I'll probably have a bit more joy over here. Looks like this guy's got... Looks like all the noobs are doing the same thing. So, okay, that kind of works for me, I guess. Right, there we go. Win a game of Soul Wars. 40 points and 60 zeal, which doesn't sound like a lot, although that was only in five minutes. So, let's see what we can get for that. Trade with Nomad. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. I've got to get two more prayer levels so that I can actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so I need to go and get some prayer levels real Okay, we are absolutely flying through the strength levels now that I've uh, decided to train it a bit because I thought I'm just wasting my time getting 60 defense whilst only like 21 strength. So, yeah, I mean, the two-tick melee is nuts and just look how quick the XP goes, although it goes quicker when they're not killing everything I'm trying to kill instantly. Uh, but, yeah, pretty neat. Right, so I'm going to kill cows to get the... Uh, I get the bones that I need to get to level 30 prayer and I feel like the best thing I can uh, you I might probably not but might be able to get the task which is to uh, kill 10 cow no six cows in 10 seconds I imagine that's probably gonna be pretty tough for me with my levels but I might be able to get it now that I'm two tick mailing and if I can that would be some extra points I think 40 and hits like that help Okay, so I believe this is all the bones that I need to get level 30 prayer. Now, this is the next day from the last clip that you guys watched, so I'm hoping this Crystal of Memories is going to take me back to Soul Wars. If it doesn't, I've fucked up. Okay, it did, right. So, first thing I'm going to do is use some of these tokens on prayer and just see kind of how much prayer XP we get, because it would be nice to go up to 43 ASAP. Okay. Really not that much. Okay. Uh right. So not much we can really do except just get stuck into this like so. Although I guess I can just type in how many I want to use. There we go. So we got up to 35 prayer, not too bad, but I'm not entirely sure if that's worth it or not. Right, I'm kind of fancy in buying some spoils of war and seeing what we can get. It's the mithril bars that we really need. Right, where's Nomad? There he is. So what are so I've got 192, so I can buy what? Six? That's not too bad, I guess, is it? So right, let's confirm those. See what we can grab in each of them. So quite a lot of bars. And there we go. So myth ore which we need, but we also need a buttload of coal. So yeah, once we get some coal, I'll be able to kind of see roughly what the XP per hour is that I need from this. 66 diamonds, that's pretty cool. That's probably a lot of uh of crafting XP. And then the, sh uh, the swordfish is pretty good as well to try, and the lobsters to get my cooking level up. So decent stuff right there, and I'm sure we can get some more. Right, let's grab another set of these bad boys and see if we can grab ourselves some coal. I kind of just want to get a feel for if uh, oh, 500 nature runes. 
Wow. Oh, and, the, uh, and there's the uh, pure essence that people are so happy about. But 150k coins, really not too bad. And we did get some coal, but it wasn't very much in comparison to our mithril ore. We got 173 mithril ore and like 232 coal. So we're going to have to step our coal game up a bit. Uh, but luckily, uh, where is the coal? I'm going to pull it down to the bottom. Uh, luckily, we're in a slightly decent spot. Uh, because we're getting quite a lot of cash, which was kind of the main thing that I wanted, to be honest, because we don't have fire sales. So having the cash is a good thing. Rune arrow is kind of useless to us uh, at the moment. And then, yeah, the rune's pretty nice, I guess. And the sharks will be good eventually. We're up to 50 attack as well. And I just realized if I can get to 60, now that I have some diamonds in my bank, I could actually go to uh, Xanaris and grab myself a dragon longsword, which would be a massive upgrade on my Addy sword I'm currently using. Right, time to see what kind of damage we can do with some mithril ore and some coal law on, uh, on this smithing grind that we need. We need to get 85, so including the boost, that's going to be, what, 73 that we need to get, so a little over 800,000 XP. I think that's still going to be a lot, even with, uh, even with the XP boost. Okay, I've got the method down now. This is not too bad of a, of a method. The XP per hour on making the myth bars hasn't been great so far. Uh, but we're getting a decent amount, and obviously the bulk of the XP is going to come from making the mithril items themselves. Not entirely sure what I should make. If I should make uh, plate bodies for the GP, or knives for the range, um, or something else. Who knows? So we've got 131 bronze bars. Let's uh, grab an invent of them, although I need a hammer, of course. Okay, so now we have the hammer. Let's see what kind of XP we get. Let's chuck it into knives or bolts or arrow tips. Maybe arrow tips. Uh, I guess... Nah, fuck it, let's do knives. There we go, 11k XP. Not too bad, I guess. Uh, let's uh, grab the rest of these. There's not going to be more XP if we build, if we make something more interesting, is it? Should we do, what? Should we do some long sword, uh, two-handed swords or something? No, it's the XP is the same. That's okay. So, right, let's uh, just grab ourselves a bunch of knives, I guess, is probably the best way. 54. So... Yeah, I don't think this is going to be too great XP, to be honest. Uh, as a method, the getting myth and coal from Soul Wars. Uh, it's not too bad, but it's also not great. Uh, it looks probably like... I mean, what, what are we going to be on now? 68 with our, uh, with our bonuses. So, yeah, that wasn't excellent. I might try some mining iron ore and uh, superheating it as we go and see how that does instead. Okay, I guess this is actually a semi-smart thing to do because you need to have um, 66 magic to complete this chunk anyway. So I may as well do this until I get 66 magic and then I'll have a whole bunch more smithing XP and also have ticked off the magic requirement that we need to finish the chunk. So... Yeah, this seems like a clever idea at the moment. Uh, it's quite nice that you can start the cl uh, the animation on the rock like so, uh, cast superheat and then finish it like that, which is nice. So you can kind of do zero time uh, superheating, which is pretty cool. So the XP per hour on this method is seven uh, 80k smithing XP per hour. Not too bad. Uh, 220k mining XP per hour and 330k magic XP per hour, which I feel like is quite good. Uh, and also we're banking, we're obviously banking a load of iron or iron bars as well, which is pretty cool. Although you don't get the bonus from the production prodigy doing them this way. Although I guess with iron bars in particular, you do lose half of them and doing super heat, you don't lose any. So I guess that brings it back in a way. But yeah, pretty good to be able to uh, bank so much XP so quickly. And also, w the chunks we're planning on doing in the future are going to probably involve getting 70 mining sooner or later. So being able to get some of that 
kind of out the way is not too bad. And at 220k XP per hour, it'd only take what three hours of this to get up to uh, 70 mining. So I guess that's not too awful, is it really? Hold on, this fella's got some advice for me. Let's see what he's got. Go on. I want your advice. I reckon he's going to have some killer advice for me. He's going to be like, don't mine. Okay. Yeah, I, knew, I think I'm pretty sure I've done all those tasks already. What a useful guy. I feel like I look like I'm doing quite intense skilling activity now. <laughs> like, do I look like a noob? I mean, the iron or the, the iron armor is probably pretty newbie, but I feel like the the superheating whilst mining looks quite intense now. Oh no, I'm not getting any presents from Santa. Have I been good? Have I not been good? Oh God, I don't know now. Okay, let's make some smithing stuff and see what we can get from our iron knives. Probably the way to go yet again. And I forgot a hammer <laughs> yet again. Okay, we're at 69 over 57 smithing to start. Let's see what we get by the end of these. Okay, so that got us up to 72 over 60, nearly 73. That's that's not too bad. We got 1600 iron knives out of it. It might be useful at some point. Our range is still pretty low at 30. Um, is that worth it? I don't know. How long did that take? So what? It's probably about 300k smithing XP per hour. Uh, it's not too bad, is it really? Although. Getting 72 would be, what, another two and a half hours? I mean, maybe that's worth it. I think actually what I need is more nature runes, and then I could probably do that all the way to 85 smithing, and then I would be in a much better spot overall because I'd have already trained my mining up, already trained my magic up, and, uh, yeah, just generally be in a bit of a better spot. All right, there is 66 magic, which is a chunk task. I'm not entirely what for sure what for without looking, but that is one of the chunk tasks done, which is very, very nice indeed. And uh, yeah, we're kind of flying through this now. Okay, this is going to be a decently important level here. Level 70 magic, which is our first level 70 and a hard task completed, which is pretty nice. We're pretty far away from our next relic and decently close to our next area, but we can actually get points a lot faster than I am at the moment. We're up to 62 smithing, 63 mining as well. Uh, we're about halfway through the remaining nature runes that we had, so... Um, we're kind of getting through that quite quickly, which is nice. I feel like we're probably going to get about 60, about 70, like, actual smithing. So, like, 82 smithing from this, which isn't too bad, I guess. Uh, it will be nice to, um, it would be nice to get 85 knocked out today day but i think it seems probably quite unlikely to be honest uh this has been a lot slower than i thought it would be getting this 85 smithing i really thought i'd get a lot more coal and myth than i did from the soul wars crates and frankly my shit levels and also my shit relic tier means that the uh, amount of zeal that I get from a game of Soul Wars is nowhere near as high as I would want it to be, which means that it's nowhere near as good as everyone else is making it look. You know, I'm seeing uh, Solo Mission and such getting a million prayer XP per day really, really easily. Um, and the fact they've got a way better mini game booster than me can kill people in the mini game and kill the uh, boss in the mini game, therefore getting more zeal. And also they get they've got higher levels, and also they've got a higher tier relic, meaning they get more XP per uh, per zeal as well. Basically, all just adds up to mean that I have a very tough time 
uh, ahead of me at Soul Wars, both getting the smithing XP, which I'm luckily kind of shortcutting a decent amount of here with the nature runes that we got from Soul Wars, um, but also is going to make it very tough to get the 70 prayer that we need, which really doesn't sound that much with all the boosts that we have, but is going to take a long time starting at level 35, and with the poor, poor amount of zeal that we're getting per hour relative to everyone else on leagues. But my name's Frey, and I persevere. Right, here is the last of our iron bars. So we've got five nature runes left, so we'll just keep those just in case we need them for something else. But we're up to 76 smithing, so nine levels to go, and we're up to 67 mining and 72 magic. So what I'm going to do is just use all of these iron bars and, yeah, see what level we can get to. Hopefully pretty close to 85. I'll tell you what, this is a very nice training method with Production Master. Just bang, bang, and some more bang. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, there's a thousand total level for another task. That's pretty cool. Not too bad. We're kind of getting through the levels now. Nice little bonus task there. Okay, and here is the last of our iron bars. Uh, so we've got 6,000 iron knives in the invent. That will be nice for range training eventually. We got up to 81 smithing, so three and a half levels to go. Not too bad. I think I probably need to go back to Soul Wars because I need to get more either nature runes to carry on with what I was doing or more mithril and coal. Uh, we're looking at how many iron knives have we got now? Uh, there they are. 9,000 of them, so that'll be a lot of range XP when we eventually get to it. Uh, yeah, we've got some extra food, so we can probably get the 80 cooking that we need as well. I might just go and knock that out real quick. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to go back to Soul Wars and get us some more smithing supplies. Right, I'm going to waste a couple of uh, tokens on it because it would be painful not to. But there is... Level 60 attack, which is quite a big one, because we can actually get a Dragon Longsword from Inzanaris. So that should increase our XP per hour a lot. Uh, but what I'm going to do for now is chuck some of these zeal onto prayer and just sort of see how we, how we get on. Probably not well. 22k got us up to 43 immediately. Hopefully 70 won't be too bad if this XP per hour keeps going up. Is it? Does it go up with levels? Or no? Okay, it does appear to be going up levels, right? So there is 50 from not very many zeal. Let's stick that in as well. 21k, so we're up to 52. So we actually have protection prayers now, which is going to make things a lot better. But what I'm going to do, go do is grab myself a dragon longsword and then keep on with the prayer training. So we got the... 66 magic we're working on the prayer now we also need to get 61 range which is quite a big jump so what i might do is grab my iron knives that i've made and just start working on that um and then keep doing that while i get the prayer and then we need four more smithing levels and a bunch of defense levels as well and the 80 cooking will be free just from the raw lobsters and such that we're going to get sooner or later so not too bad this chunk hopefully won't take too much longer but that prayer is <laughs> quite slow because my zeal rate is very low okay here we go let's grab ourselves the swords that we need uh so i might as well get a dagger as well i guess and the dragon longsword which we can equip yes yeah, equip a dragon weapon 80 points as well very nice right there we go uh let's have a look at this gem shop as well can you actually buy the gems from here because i imagine if you oh are they not gems are they just Okay, it's just ruby rings. Okay, all right, let's go back to Soul Wars with our now much improved gear setup. Although, I... oh, you are fucking kidding me. Okay, at least I can just use the mini game teleport. Um, with my so I think what I'm going to do is a mix of Dragon Longsword and using the Iron Knives. Right, my guess is the XP per hour on this is going to be. A Biblical, at least if I can hit. I don't know what the defense on these is, but it doesn't look great if I can hit that much. I'm not going to pick the knives up. I think this should be comfortably enough to get us 61. Um, but uh, it would be good if I could actually get some kills, like get on some stuff. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the XP per hour on this is going to be pretty crazy and only going to get better. I wish I had some range gear, but I just found out that I can equip a rune plate body. So when I go back to the Dragon Longsword, um, I'm going to be balling. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. Perform a special attack. I did not know that that was a task, but it's got us another 40 points, which is very nice. And I'll tell you what, two-tick dragon longsword is kind of overpowered. I should probably be on strength training now. Start getting that strength up, but yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's like actually a good weapon. I've actually got a good weapon for once. So nice, but I should be training range. I just fancied using the Dragon Longsword for a little bit. Get me some soul fragments, because our team's actually kind of winning for once, although we just lost the middle, so who knows how long that will carry on for. Who knew all these were tasks? There's all sorts. Oh, fuck, this guy's fucking destroying us. All right. May as well get the XP. <laughs> hey, we just got bronze rank and activated smites, which is one of the tasks. Not entirely sure. Uh, do I have the... So I might have the quest already done for piety. So as soon as I get 70, I might just have piety unlocked now that I've unlocked Asgarnia. Uh, so that is pretty... Is it Asgarnia for piety? No, it's Candorin for piety, isn't it? Okay, so, yeah, we're doing uh, pretty well. We just got a whole bunch of loads of tasks, which is pretty nice, because we only need 1,400 for our next, uh, our next area. So, really, we're not that far away at all. Right, I feel like I want to... Shall I do XP or Spoils of War? Let's do the XP, I guess, shouldn't I? Uh, so, should I be buying this incrementally? Probably. So, 44k XP. Alright, how much XP was that? 65. Oh, God, I was not expecting to get that high from that. That's pretty cool. That means that we're pretty close to level 70, really. So, if I grab... 90 of those again we're 67 so yeah very nearly level 70 that's pretty cool right i can't use these can i because i've not done yet okay cool that's fine um but otherwise pretty cool only three more levels to go and that should be relatively quick right we just grabbed 300 more zeal and i'm hoping this is going to be enough to get us to 70 prayer so 100 100 and then we won't need 100 more we'll do it in lots of 10 there we go there we go there we go and there is 70 prayer and 72 combat but 70 prayer is the main one and that is one of our uh one of our fellas one of our uh, what are they call chunk goals done right let's open these two crates because it would be nice to get some coal uh, from one of these, although some nature runes will do nicely as well, as well as the death runes, so that's pretty nice. Oh, look at all these people who just leave their loot on the ground. I wish I was as rich as them. Um, but now, now we've got the 70 prayer, we can just crack on with opening some spoils of war, which will be very nice. Okay, we just got some extra coal, so we're going to go try and convert. Oh, God, that broke. That all went tits up, didn't it? Right, uh, yeah, we just got some coal, so we're going to go and convert that into some smithing XP and see how much we can get. Uh, but this loot time is looking not too bad. How much pure essence do we have? 11,000. That's really not too bad, is it? So we're going to be doing some some scenes with that at some point, uh, but not just yet. So we're definitely going to be picking up at least 82 here. So let's grab all of those. Making knives, I guess, because there's not much else we can make that is of use. There we go, level 70, or rather level 82. Really not that much XP, though, is it? Considering how long it takes to get the coal on the myth. So we might just have to go back to mining the iron, I think. Which is a pain, but it should be alright. we yeah, halfway to 83 now, so only two and a half levels to go, which is not too bad. Right, I've decided that I'm going to just use some of my zeal to uh, get range XP, and I think this is probably the best way. So if I do 100, I get to 58, 59, uh, 15. So I think I need 61, do I, in range? See, so yeah, I feel like that's probably the best way. Right, there is 61. So uh, let's take a look at the chunk goals, see where we're at. 
So we can tick off the 70 prayer and the 61 range. We still need 60 defense uh, and 80 cooking and 85 smithing. So that really shouldn't be too bad. I'm using uh, defensive within soul, uh, within soul Wars now. So as you can see, I'm up to 53. What I might do is just continue train, get train this up to 60 and then use all the points that I get on Spoils of War and see what the loot is. I think that's probably the best way. And there is 75 combat, which is a task. We're up to 57 defense. I'm getting itchy feet, so after this game, I might just chuck the uh, chuck some zeal into defense to finish off the level 60, and then pay the rest of the crates into spoils of war, which hopefully should get us the 85 smithing and 80 cooking. All right, let's drop some points then on defense. Let's just do 10 at a time, probably. Uh, 6p, 12k, yeah, that'd be fine. So we'll just do 10 until we get to what 273k XP, I think. There we go. That is level 60 defense. We can wear dragon armor now, and that is a chunk task. And now we're going to spend the rest of our tokens on some spoils of war because why not? Hopefully, we can get some uh, raw fish out of this and also some coal and myth. That is what we're aiming for. Pure Essence is good for the future. Raw Lobsters is good. Mithril Ore, not great. I'm really looking for Coal as the main thing that I want. The Nature Runes are cool. We've got some more Lobsters, which is handy. The Rune Full Helm is good. I'd like some Rune Plate Legs as well. Right, there's a, there's a lot more raw uh, food, which is good. That'll be our 80 cooking, surely done there. And 327 Coal in the last one. Oh, only 100. Oh, yeah, I did get 327 coal in the last one. That's pretty handy for us. These Addy bolts, they'll presumably sell for an absolute buttload if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, 14k PR essence is pretty neat as well. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go do some cooking and smithing and see if we can get the levels that we need. So we are definitely going to be getting our uh, cooking level that we need so we'll just chuck that there uh, pop that there and there is level 68 cooking but that is obviously level 80 with our plus our permanent plus 12 boost so we could go and cook some sharks if we wanted to i am actually going to do that because i believe that uh, cooking a shark is almost certainly a league task. So we'll go and do that once we've finished our swordfish. And yeah, I'm loving, I'm lo I love the XP drops from cooking. They are massive. And that is exactly what she said. I'd just like to point out that was a cock joke and not a women in the kitchen joke. So we have 324 shark in the bank, which is an immense number we're probably going to get a lot of levels from this and crucially a lot of good food which is something we have been lacking right let's see what the xp uh, drop on this is and see if it is a task 40k xp and we burned a load of them and it's not a task which is interesting uh, but the xp is mental so let's keep this going and uh, see what level we can get to Oh, it's cook 100 sharks that's a league's task. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, it was a hard task, though, so we've got 80 points for that, which is pretty neat. Uh, I imagine once we finish this chunk, there's going to be a lot of uh, tasks that we can go and knock out pretty easily. So uh, I'm excited to go see what they are. Was that a 50k XP drop from there? Okay, back down to 40k now. 73 cooking in reality, up to 85 with our plus 12 boost. So... Yeah, with a lot of cooking XP banked in these sharks. So that is all our sharks cooked, and we just tipped over to 75 cooking, which is obviously 87 in reality right now. It's time to go grab our myth and our coal and see what smithing level we can get, hopefully all the way up to 85. Okay, reckon wiki reckons that you need to make a mithril grapple as, uh, as one of the things... I don't know if just making the grapple tip will do. Probably not. Uh, decent smithing XP, though. Uh, and then we shall carry on and make ourselves just the knives that we were making before, because why not? Uh, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get us to 85, so I think we're going to have to do something else real quick to get us the uh, 85 smithing that we need. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I got some nature runes from that last batch of spoils of war. So I think we'll probably just go back to the iron ore. <laughs> I've spent more time mining iron on this league probably than anyone else. Right, I decided to round off 70 mining uh, in this chunk as well. Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, I've decided to round off 70 mining in this chunk as well because I'm going to need it for upcoming grinds and also it's going to get us some leagues points, I believe, mining the adamant ore and such like that. But there is 70 mining and a buttload of iron ore. And we're going to now go and smith this in Lumbridge and then we're going to head back to Varrock and hopefully get ourselves up to that 85 smithing, although now... We are not looking that far away, are we? Which is very nice indeed. Okay, here we go. Finally, after so, so long, literally many days it has taken to get this, we are knocking on the door of 73 smithing, but with our plus 12 boost from Production Master, that is 85 smithing, which I believe is the last gold that we need for this chunk so we got the 80 cooking no problem and we also now have the 85 smithing but one thing we're going to do before we do that is we're going to just quickly hopefully if i've got enough coal <laughs> smith a rune bar no we don't have enough coal brilliant well done frey okay so i need to get some more coal at some point that's no drama but what I can do, I believe, is smith out, smelt ourselves steel bars. So I'll do that, uh, which will get us three. That's very annoying, so I was hoping one would go to the bank. Okay, my plan to create a steel plate body out of seven coal has failed as well. So we need to go back to the chunk picker and roll some more chunks that can get us the coal that we need. So we are back in the chunk picker and we have the 60 defense, we have the 80 cooking and we also now have the 85 smithing. Huge! And that is every single skill task done for the chunk which means we can roll some more. So I believe these three are now rollable but we're not going to bother with any of those and we are instead going to be going to the Lumbridge Swamp over here. So let's calculate the tasks. Will probably just be a 70 mining uh, thing yet. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the Slayer, but I don't... Have I got Slayer? No, because I got a task that I can't do, didn't I? Um, right, so let's grab ourselves the 70 mining. We have that done already, and we're going to go there in-game and see what we can get done. So in this chunk, we crucially have access to the water altar, although it's not coming up in the chunk picker because technically we don't have this five rune crafting yet. Uh, but we also have access to the mine over here. And it crucially has a lot of rocks that we've never had before. So we've never had access to coal as of yet. So hopefully mining some of this will be a task. It may not be, uh, but I believe maybe the adamant definitely is the, the myth maybe uh, so we'll see if these are tasks or not so actually as it turns out mining none of them was a task but there might be tasks for mine x amount of this or mine x amount of that so i'll uh, have a little check on the uh, on the leagues page and see but either way we're gonna need i think 10 or 12 coal uh, so we'll, we'll just mine some of that right now Okay, so there's a mine 15 ad, uh, coal task, but there's also a mine 50 addy ore task, which I'm not entirely sure if I'll do that. I mean, it's 80 points, so it is quite a lot. So it's probably worth doing with the limited area that I have. But I want to see if I can get up to the next relic and the next area without doing any more chunks beyond this one. I also need to look into how to get a water talisman, because that's going to be quite big for our next set of tasks. Yeah, so I just checked, and we can't do the hill giant. I don't know why it says 102 of 150 killed, because I've not killed any of the hill giants. Uh, I must be picking up from somewhere else. But I do remember we got a hill giants task, and we can't kill hill giants on this account yet, because we don't have access to any. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to backlog that 35 slayer task for now. Uh, but other than that, 
we're doing pretty well, I think. So I'm thinking this 20 tasks and 1370 points isn't going to be too bad. Uh, if I can get a water talisman, it will really not be too bad because I have a buttload of pure essence in the bank and a banker's note, which means that I can train my rune crafting very, very quickly indeed. And there is the 15 coal task. So what we'll do now is we'll just head over to Lumbridge and smith the bars that we need. And then we should be able to knock out some tasks real quick. So here we are smithing a rune bar, which is a task. And then I'll just check if any of the others are tasks. Once. No, none of the other bars are tasks. Although maybe there is something for like smith and addy item. One sec. Okay, here we go. So we shall be smithing a rune dagger, which should be 80 points. Very nice. And we shall smith a steel plate body as well, which I believe should be some more, possibly 40. Not entirely sure on that one. Smith a steel plate body. Didn't get a, oh, we did get a pop-up. There we go. Another 40 points. So that was a pretty big amount of points to get pretty quickly. Uh, right, let's look into this water talisman. Okay, so one NPC I found that drops a water talisman in chunks that we have is these level 9 wizards. So I'm just going to quickly, hopefully, knock one out. It should be 1 in 42, so that's really not too many. Uh, so I'm hoping I'll pick this up relatively quickly. And there's 54 strength. And there is a second mine talisman, which is like the which is the same drop rate as the water talisman. Typical, how that always happens. We've got the first one on like our first ever kill. And then we just got that one, and we're at 55 kills at the moment without the Water Talisman yet. Hopefully we get it soon. And there it is, after 89 Wizards. So, another task that we can knock out that loads of people do super early, but I've not had access to, is... Teleport using regular spells. Look at that. There we go. Teleport using Law Runes. First time ever, because I've not had Law Runes up till then. I did not know that those Wizards dropped it, but that's a nice task to knock out. Now, frankly, I'm expecting this to be borderline sexual, how good it's going to be. So we're starting at level 5. Let's just see what one invent gets us up to level 11. Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just get stuck in and get some levels. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I, know, I, want, to, I want to note all. I want to unnote all, though, don't I? Can I swap that? Swap left click to unnote quantity. Okay. Feel like I'm uh, I'm messing this up. Toggle. Okay, and yeah, reset the left click. Uh, one sec. Okay, so now that's unnote all. Look at the state of that. Look at the levels in the chat. Lol, that's so funny. Okay, so. We're going to get a group of tasks from this. I'm not going to do this forever because we're only making water runes and I'm not going to have a massive need for just endless water runes. But I am going to get up to at least level 44, which is nature runes, which we can hopefully make relatively soon. That was a pretty easy way to get 39 total levels, wasn't it? So yeah, 44 is nature runes. And if we're very clever... You'll see that a chunk that we can roll is, so we're going to backlog that for now, so don't worry about the 35 until we can access, uh, until we can access hill giants. But if we roll over to here, uh, and then I calculate, it might not pick up that I can necessarily get a nature talisman. Oh, it's not picking up, we've got rune mysteries either. But this is the chunk with the nature altar, so we've now unlocked that. And I need to get myself a nature talisman. And it's actually quite tricky to get one, but crucially we have the wizard's tower unlocked. So if I can unlock the desert, it will auto-complete... Uh, I've got my screen region wrong, haven't I? Uh, there we go. If I can, or if I do, if I unlock the desert, it will auto-complete Temple of the Eye, and I will then be able to go and do Guardians of the Rift. And doing Guardians of the Rift is a really easy way to get ourselves a nature talisman. Uh, so... That's probably what we're going to aim to do. But to do so, I'm going to need to get, and I'm recording my own recording device. Oh, my God, it's miserable, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to need to get 12 tasks, and that's to unlock the next area. But realistically, I don't think that's going to be too tricky. 
So I believe I need to just buy a couple of items from Spria over here, which shouldn't be too bad. I need to get an enchanted gem and a spiny helm and equip them both, and that should be two tasks. Well, obviously you can't equip an enchanted gem, but, you know, use an enchanted gem. Uh, so we can equip that and check with that, and that is two tasks there. Oh, that's why I reckons I needed to do 108, because there's only 48 to go. Right, okay, so let's carry on and see if we can knock out another nine tasks. Okay, so I'm just quickly knocking out the crafting levels that we need to do some future chunks. So that is 71 crafting, not too bad indeed. Love cutting the diamonds with a production master, so nice. 8.6k for like six diamonds, that is nuts. Uh, right, but that lets us do this. Let's us unlock Barbarian uh, Village, which is pretty nice indeed because it gives us a 70 crafting requirement for a diamond amulet, so we can tick that off as well, and then we can head down into uh, the Troll Stronghold and do some of the tasks that are in there as well. So we're just quickly going to trade with Sarah who is going to sell us a rake, seed dibber, and spade, which is good news for us because what we need to do is quickly hop over here and rake this allotment patch, which should be a task itself, I believe. If I could rake with any speed, that is. Okay, we did get the rake farming patch, and I believe if I chuck these potato seeds in here, I should get another task. There we go. Up to level three farming as well. Huge. So we now need to quickly make ourselves some mithril bolts. Fletch the bolts. Stick the myth grapple on the top. And then, oh, there we go. That's all we need. I thought I'd need to attach the rope. But there we go. Myth grapple as well. Six tasks to go. Oh, we might have an incredibly easy task sat for us in the bank, which is equip a rune dagger, which I'm not sure if I've done. I haven't. There we go. 40 points. Easy as that. I should really just equip everything that I make and use, shouldn't I? Because who knows what's going to be a task. And there is another medium task. 40 points for catching a raw salmon. Right, I reckon with the... Uh, the in the, the levels and such that we've got now we can probably do this kill six cows in 10 seconds thing so let's give it a go uh that wasn't too good one more one more one more oh <laughs> that was definitely not in 10 seconds but we will take it one task to go until we can unlock our next area. Uh, I believe I've not done the pet the dog task in Varrock. So I just need to try and find that stupid stray dog. But he is nowhere to be seen right now. Oh, hang on. There he is. There he is. Right. If I pet him, will I get my next area unlocked? There we go. We can unlock a new area. Pet a stray dog in Varrock. So, areas, and we're going to be unlocking the desert because we want to get the fang, and we want to get that fang badly. So, let's unlock that. I believe that should complete a bunch of quests and such for us. So, we're currently at 41. Have we unlocked that yet? There we go. So, there are a bunch of quests and other tasks and such unlocked, which is pretty nice we just got a whole bunch of stuff there huge and crucially temple of the eye is completed look at all those quests that we get done for free that's pretty nice right so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to we're going to go to wizard's tower and grab ourselves and and do some temple of the eye and get ourselves a nature talisman right if i use this herring on a tree does that do anything it does nice okay right let's go to wizard's tower okay i believe that actually i don't need to get a talisman i think i can just use the rifts in here to do so which would be quite big because there are a lot of tasks for rune crafting right so if i go to here look uh you know there's 
all these. So craft an air rune, craft a fire rune, craft four runes with one essence, craft any combination rune. I don't think I'll be able to do that because I don't have the, 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 what's it called? Whatever, the uh, necklace of binding, binding necklace, whatever it is. Craft 50 cosmic runes, craft 50 death runes, craft 50 nature runes, craft a body rune. Uh, you know, all this stuff, which in theory should just be loads of free points because I should be able to do it all within Guardians of the Rift. Craft 50 lore runes, craft 2,500 essence into pouches. I don't know if I'm able to do the lore runes because I think you might need a quest for that. But I should be able to do quite a lot of that stuff within Guardians of the Rift. Okay, so I've written down all the things that I need to do. I believe going into this air altar here, I will be able to unnote my pure essence and do some of the air rune crafting that we just discussed. So if I go like this, you do not... What? I thought you could do this here. You are joking me. Oh my god, right, am I just an idiot then? Basically. Uh, why won't that work? I swear I saw Solo Mission do this. <laughs> okay, right, that didn't work. Right, so we did get the task for completing a thingy. Uh, we got two, we only got, we didn't seem to get boosted, uh, boosted minigame points though which is interesting i'm not sure if it boosts at this point or you get boosted pearls or something uh okay so it looks like you get boosted pearls we got 48 which isn't too bad and then how much are the talismans 10 for those nature one's gonna be 100 oh it's oh of course i'm too short brilliant okay right so we head back in i guess and uh do some more of that so it shouldn't be too bad cosmic talisman's pretty cool uh cool right let's go back in okay we got another two rewards here's hoping we can get some more abyssal pearls because that would be amazing no okay right <laughs> oh god come on come on right come on four searches surely we get some abyssal pearls off this got a small pouch which is pretty cool uh and a medium pouch, which is also pretty cool, I guess. It probably is a task to uh, chuck some pure essence in there. But still no more Abyssal Pearls, which is so bleak. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Why can't I... How much essence is in these? Huh? Check. Check that. There's six... That's weird. Okay. <laughs> right, there is 60 rune crafting. After this one, I'm hopeful we can get some more uh, some more Abyssal Pearls because I would really like to leave Guardians of the Rift. I was not planning on getting 60 rune crafting here. I can tell you that for free. Right, we've got four searches. Let's hope we can get some Abyssal Pearls or just a straight Nature's Talisman out of here. That would be ideal. The Hey, there we go. There, are the, There's the nature's talisman that we wanted and a chaos talisman. Very nice indeed. So what we can do with that is go and create ourselves a shitload of nature runes, which is not only good XP and good points, but also incredible money because we can either alk our own runes or just sell them. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily what I'm going to do first because once I unlock the next relic, I also get up to 12 times XP and also 5 times minigame points. So we're going to do some other stuff before then, hopefully knock out this 600 points. So what we're going to do is roll some chunks because we are able to do that at the moment is we're going to roll across to here uh, to the crafting guild because that will give us some points I believe. So we've got the 35 rune crafting. We can do that and yeah we can craft some air runes here and we can also go to the crafting guild over here. Uh, right, that's. I think that's all we're going to unlock for now. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else that I would want to do. Uh, yeah, we're going to stick with that just for the sec, just for the time. But in fact, hang on, are we? Are we? Okay, so where we ideally want to get to is Warriors Guild. Oh, and we can teleport straight there, right? 
because we have the the necklace thing, which can teleport you straight to the Warriors Guild. So, in fact, I, I would like to unlock Berthorpe straight away if I can. So let's see if that gives us anything stupid or not. Uh, it does 50 agility, and then you've got to get task 20 strength. Okay, so I so I don't want to be doing that if I can avoid it. What do we get from the Warriors Guild just as is? Hopefully nothing, or just the Dragon Defender stuff. Are there hill giants in the Warriors Guild? Interesting. Uh, do they count? Surely they don't. What, the Cyclopses count as hill giants? Unless there's somewhere else I can kill hill giants. I don't think so, though. I mean, they might do. Hmm. Interesting. So now that we've got our rune crafting up a bit, I should be able to pop into the air, air altar here and make ourselves an air rune, which should be two tasks. It was indeed. So that's a nice 50 points. And then I should just be able to go to the crafting guild and go straight in. I, for some reason, I've got like a brown apron in, apron in my head that you can't go in unless you've got a brown apron. Hopefully I'm wrong about that, although... I'm not entirely sure, so let's see. Okay, right, how do I get myself a brown apron then? Okay, so in theory I should be able to buy one from Thessalia over here. And there, yes we can, and then I should be able just to teleport back with our Crystal of Memories, which is lovely, I love the efficiency of these things, so I should just be able to go straight in. There we go, 40 points for that, very nice indeed. And can I use the bank? No, I can't use the bank lame. Okay, right, what's next? Okay, I've decided to relock the Warriors Guild because I'm not entirely sure that I want to do that just yet. Uh, so we're actually, I think, going to do... So we can enter the desert now, uh, which is interesting. So. There's one entrance is up here. I believe I've done all the tasks that would be generated from uh, the Alcarid mine. Is that correct? It is indeed. And then I'm hoping I'll be able to go down to this one as well because being able to cut the gems there, I believe is decent money and decent XP. Uh, okay, so we can. And then can we go down to Alcarid? This is the main one. If we can get down there without any requirements, that would be very, very handy indeed. Okay, 19 strength that we've done. And then 65 thieving. What is our thieving? Okay, so the thieving level is currently 40. Um, not entirely sure I want to get that up to 65 just yet because that might take all that yeah that will take ages because i've got absolutely no good methods to do it although if i do it and get a ranar seed from a master farmer that could be a pretty good way to just knock out a task passively um right let's not do that just yet One okay so the main thing that i wanted alcarid for was actually the molds but i can actually get those in rimmington instead and not unlock a task at all so that's pretty handy for us because it means we can go to this fella shop down here and buy those. Um, right, that's pretty handy because that's going to help us with some tasks. Uh, is there anything else that we need to get unlocked before we carry on? Um, I don't think so. I mean, you guys are presumably screaming at me to do something extremely obvious that I'm forgetting to do. But I think that should be good for now and I can try and carry on knocking out some tasks. Okay, the next place we're going to unlock is the Voids Knight Outpost, which is going to give us a small grind of 75 fletchings. I don't believe I'm 75 yet. In fact, hold on. Yeah, no, I'm 68. Okay, so I need to get seven fletching levels, which won't be too bad. Uh, but it will also give us access to pest control, which is going to be very, very good XP. And also void is going to be our, by far our best item that we can use. Like, you know, void armor is going to be so, so good for us. So, yeah, I think that's probably worth doing. There's this anvil right close to a bank there as well, which is handy. And another rune shop, which is pretty good. 
but yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for now. And we're also going to try and knock out some other tasks uh, because it would be good to get that 12 times. Yeah, so I, I've got the 42 attack for that. Uh, and I've got the 42 hit points for that. And I've got the 42 strength for that. Cool. So I believe that um, we can get the next relic tier with just the chunks that we've got, which would be very handy because the 12 times bonus to minigame points, no, 12 times bonus to XP would be great. And then the five times bonus for minigame points would also be very good for pest control as well as soul wars. So yeah, we're going to crack on with all of that now and hopefully get that relic unlocked. Cool. Right. I believe this is just an easy task, but we will take the 10 points uh there we go right and then onwards to Remington. so i should be able to buy some molds from this fella is it this one that does the molds yes so we want a necklace and a ring and an amulet and i think that's all we need for now tiara might be handy i guess but uh, yeah okay right so and then we're going to go to varrock and we're going to telegrab ourselves some gold bars from underneath the Varrock, uh, Varrock West Bank, which is extremely handy. Uh, so we're going to head down here. And this is very old school right now, isn't it? So there should be... Am I... Yeah, there is. Okay, so it looks like someone is probably just doing the same thing. So we're going to grab ourselves a few gold bars. I think we only need three for what I'm planning. So I'm going to have to be very careful when doing this with my production master not to accidentally make everything into one thing. So what we're going to do is drop this stuff and we're going to make ourselves a ruby amulet and then string that. Oh, no. String that and I believe that should be a task. Awesome. We're going to grab one emerald and one gold bar and make that into an emerald ring which should be another task. And then we're going to grab this stuff and turn it into a emerald necklace. And then we're going to imbue all of these. So the strength amulet is just handy because I had nothing except the globetrotter pendant before that. So that'll be good for my melee build. And we're going to, I guess we may as well just do the emerald ring as well to get ourselves a ring of dueling. Uh, but the binding necklace is going to be particularly handy because what we're going to go and do now is create ourselves, hopefully, some mist runes. Because I believe making a combination rune is also a tar. Right, here we go. We're at the water out, so we've got our binding necklace attached. Let's stick the air runes in there. There we go. Craft any combination rune. Now we've got 61 rune crafting with it as well. So, uh, right, that's that done. We are at 380 points to go. Hopefully, we should get that soon. So, we are taking our first jaw. Oh, no. I might not be able to get in. I was going to say we were taking our first jaunt into the desert, but I don't know if I've actually got a... Ah, uh, uh, fuck. I don't know if I've actually got a uh, fire. Although, I should actually be able to get one, shouldn't I, if I don't have one because I have those Abyssal Pearls. Uh, so let's minigame telly over to... What's it called? Guardians of the Rift. And check if we've got a fire talisman. And if we don't, head straight back here to make some fire runes. Okay, we do not have a fire talisman, but I believe I should be able to buy one from here for 10 pearls. Yes, so let's grab those. Trade with this fella, grab those, and then teleport back like so. Look, having that, uh, having that thing is just so cool. Right, let's head on in to the mysterious ruins and create ourselves some fire runes for just 10 points, but not too bad. And then we're going to be heading off to... Karamja. Right, I believe I should be able to grab a torch here, which is pretty, or, or a candle. I guess they're both pretty good. I just buy one of each to make sure that they work. Uh, nothing else to need there. That 10 bronze bars would have been useful uh, when I was doing the smithing grind. Although, I'm probably an idiot. I probably had this done while I could have been. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. I could have just bought all. Oh no, I was making all those fucking iron bars and I could have just been 
buying bronze bars, presumably for like two GP each, unlimited stock, and just noting them and smithing. Oh no, I did all that stuff to get 85 smithing for like no reason. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, that is miserable. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to grab a tinderbox. I believe lighting that is a task in of itself. It is indeed. And then we're going to go to Lumbridge. So I believe I should be able to buy and equip a Dorgashan crossbow. Nice, that's a nice 40 points for free. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is using our jewelry teleport to get us to Tears of Guthics, which I should now be able to do now that I've unlocked another area because I believe I should have enough quest points to actually do it. 96 quest points isn't actually a tiny amount either, so we'll probably get some decent XP from this. Okay, I'm hoping this is going to be 40 points and not 10 yet, 40 points, and we got 23 farming from that. No idea why that went in farming and not construction, I guess because I don't have a house, maybe I'm not allowed to lamp or level construction at all. So that's pretty interesting, maybe if you're 0 XP as well, it might not register it as a skill, that is interesting, but we are now down to 280 points until the next relic, so let's see what else we can do. Okay, there is craft 100 empty light orbs as well. So we're at 74 crafting. At 87 crafting, you can do uh, 100 empty light orbs, and that task is worth 200. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure if that's doable for us, but I want to go check it out at the, uh, where is it, at the gem shop in Alcarid. So we'll go there and uh, see what we can get done. So supposedly I should be able to buy gems from this store uh, and then sell them back for more than I bought them for. So I should be able to swap left click to buy emerald. Oh, and I've just bought all the wrong ones, haven't I? For fuck's sake, right? I so I should be able to set left click to buy emerald, buy all of these, what we started on 41k, craft them all like so and then what sell them all back presumably one at a time as well so set that to one sell like that okay yeah so we make a tidy profit doing that which is pretty nice and and we'll see what the xp per hour is now okay so we've set the uh sell to five and we're still making a pretty tidy profit and we're getting about four and a half mil xp per hour so we basically just need to do this until we are 75 crafting and then with our plus 12 boost that will put us up to 87 and that will mean that we can make the light orbs and do that task that is going to give us 200 points Okay, so we are just about to get 75, and I pushed the XP per hour up to over 7 million XP per hour doing this uh, by selling 50 at a time. But there is 75 crafting and 87, uh, you know, with the boost. So that means we can now make some empty light orbs, and I believe if I go and make uh, a lot of them, I should be able to, I, I, if I make 100, I should get a 200 point task, which will be massive and will mean that we only need one more medium task to get our next relic. I'd be tempted to get 99 crafting, you know, just as like a get loads and loads of points from getting my first 99, because that was incredibly quick. 7 million XP per hour, that's nuts, and it's only going to go higher as I get like better XP relics as well. So yeah, that would be over 10 mil XP per hour at the next tier. Nice. And there is Blow 100 Light Orbs, 200 points, which leaves us just 40 points away from our next relic. Very, very nice indeed. Right, let's find a task to do. Okay, so this should be our last task, and it's pretty handy because we were going to go and do some of this anyway. So what we need to do here is craft. Okay, I need to set... <laughs> this unnote quantity to 27 and we were going to get ourselves craft 50 nature runes which is a medium task 40 points and lets us choose our next relic so what are these so we've got treasure seeker, not a treasure seeker which essentially just makes clues clues way 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 better uh 
which is handy for us. And then we also have Bloodthirsty, which basically makes superiors from Slayer way, way better. And there is Infernal Gathering, which just gives us a, what, a sick tool for each of the things, right? Basically makes gathering skills better. So there are a lot of tasks in leagues for clues, and I really, really struggle with them because I don't have many areas unlocked. So I think giving ourselves the best possible chance at getting as many clue items as possible from our clues is the best. So that is Treasure Seek. So our next uh, relic is at 3500 and this is the very very big choice because ruinous powers will be very very cool farmer's fortune looks very overpowered and equilibrium also looks very very good so that'll be a big choice but before we do that we're going to get some dopamine by just smashing out so many nature runes on this altar and see what level we can get so that is a task for crafting 2500 runes which is pretty good uh, and I mean look at the XP per hour I'm at over 8 million XP per hour and I've not even been doing it for a minute yet so it's still going up uh, yeah well over 10 mil XP per hour which is fucking nuts uh, this is amazing I mean the GP we're going to be getting from this is insane because we can sell those nature runes to uh, that fellow with the discount wares store so that's pretty massive in of itself, and we should be able to get up to level 80 from this, which will be a task as well. Uh, so the unlimited money is pretty cool, the GP is pretty cool, the uh, XP is insane, the total levels are going to be pretty good as well, because I think we're getting pretty close to 1250 total level. I mean, look at this, I've just smashed out like 65 to 70 rune crafting just in the time that we've been talking I mean, this is totally insane. I wish this was a method in the main game because my uh, the 99 rune crafting that's in looking impending on my extreme one chunk account would be a light work if this was how it works. Look at that, 70 rune crafting, 17 levels away from 1250 total. So yeah, I think I'm just going to keep going. Probably just use all the pure essence here because why not and see what level we get to. So there is level 80 runecrafting, which is our first level 80 that we've got on the account. So that's pretty big. So runecrafting straight from one of our lowest to one of our highest skill today. Uh, I think I might stop there though, because I don't think I see much value in carrying on unless I'm mistaken. Uh, but it would be pretty nice to get that even higher once we get some more pure essence. Uh, we need to do more soul wars for that. And now that we've got the five times boost from our relic, uh, actually doing so will feel a lot better uh, at soul wars. We're going to be getting almost double as many uh, uh, at zeal per hour. And we're also going to be a bit more powerful there as well due to the recent kind of combat gains that we've had. Um, what we're going to do now, though, I think is probably just head to the Void Knight outpost and start on some uh start on some like start on getting our void basically because why not i feel like that's probably the move uh so yeah i'll see you over at the void night outpost okay so we did get a task from that complete a game of novice pest control even though it wasn't novice it was intermediate so i guess you can get multiple uh, but you get 20 points per one, which is pretty big and going to mean that we can get our void very, very quickly. Right, here is coming in, I think, what should be another task. Probably just a medium one. Yeah, 12.50 total. Not too bad, not too bad. We're kind of rattling through this pest control thing quite quick. The XP per hour is very good. I imagine if I was spending my... Uh, my tokens what are they called commendation points or whatever on like actual xp the xp per hour here would presumably be fucking mental uh but as is we're not doing too bad uh stats look pretty good at this moment i think what i'm gonna do is just keep pushing on with the void 
Right, let's go grab our first piece of void, which is going to be the Void Knight Bottoms. And the reason for that is because I'm currently rocking iron plate legs, which looks quite terrible. So uh, let's stick these on and it will give us some good mage defense bonus, which is pretty good. Apparently better than uh, like blessed dehyde and such. Uh, and I'm also going to do a little experiment and see how much XP we get from 10 points in strength let's say so 10 points in strength 25,000 XP so that means we get 50,000 strength XP per like what three minutes it takes to do a game of pest control so what's that 20 like what a million strength XP per hour just from doing pest control I mean that's definitely going to be my best in slot training method isn't it really because we're getting a decent amount of XP in the mini game as well so probably more like 1 1.2 1 1.3 1.4 million XP per hour that's pretty crazy uh, we're not going to spend any more like that we're just going to keep going all the way to full void and then we can make some decisions from there obviously we need to get 75 fletching in this chunk as well uh, which is going to be a little bit of a problem but with our production master i'm not too worried about it to be honest it should be pretty easy to get that up to 75 because realistically we actually only need 63 and six, level 63 is what 400 and something thousand xp so it should be pretty quick to get up to 75 Okay, so with that 20 commendation points there, we are up to 620, which means we can buy ourselves the Void Knight Top, the Melee Helm, be careful to buy that one, and also the Gloves. That's interesting. Five collection log slots, very nice. So that is the Gloves, and then we're also going to buy ourselves... Uh, 10 strength because that is going to get us level 70 strength so there we are nice little rounding off point there let's also buy ourselves what some prayer xp prayer xp is probably the best out of these i guess 17k prayer xp that is a lot better prayer xp than soul wars at least for me at the moment uh, but i believe if we equip this that should be another task equip full void very very nice and we're starting to look a lot better than we were before um we still need to go and get our 75 fletching but i will leave that until the next episode i hope you've enjoyed this one and i'll see you next time bye bye Come,